Hello, welcome to the June 2010 video edition of the Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. My name is Jeff Robinson, Senior Fiscal Analyst for the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. This video presents information covering the month of June 2010 and the 12 months that comprise cash fiscal year 2010. For the month of June, Iowa net general fund revenue was $38.8 million above June 2009 and we have now experienced positive growth for three of the past four months. On a percent basis, the month's increase was 8.3%. Gross receipts for the month were up 2.5%, while regular tax refunds decreased 44.3%. June 2010 school infrastructure refunds were equal to the June 2009 level. The significant increase shown in June is a near mirror image of the 8.8% decline experienced last month and the large swing is once again due to variations in when tax return payments were deposited and tax refund checks issued this year versus the pace of tax return processing last year. Department of Revenue has finished processing timely filed individual income tax returns for tax year 2009, so a net revenue gyration should subside at least until next spring. This table provides a look at the most recent five months showing large drops in February and May but significant increases for March, April, and June. Combined, those five months produced a 0.7% decrease. While still negative, it is significant improvement from the ne negative 7.5% experienced over the first seven months of the cash fiscal year. Looking across the full 12 months of the cash year highlights the recent revenue growth improvement. While June 30 marks the end of the fiscal year on a cash basis, sound accounting requires adjustments over the next three months to account for tax refunds and revenue deposits that occur after June 30th but are properly part of the previous fiscal year. We refer to these adjustments as accruals. This table provides a quarterly summary of net general fund revenue comparing fiscal year 2010 to the previous fiscal year. Transfer revenue is not included in these numbers. In this table, the first quarter includes only the net revenue that is properly part of each fiscal year, and it shows the accrual adjustment necessary to complete the fiscal year calculation for fiscal year 2009 numbers. The table shows that for fiscal year 2010, a disastrous first quarter was followed by two quarters of single-digit percentage declines, and the fourth quarter squeaked out a mild positive. As with every fiscal year, the Department of Revenue and others will now work over the next three months to credit receipts received and refunds issued over those three months to the proper fiscal year. This table also shows that so far this fiscal year and calculated on a fiscal year basis as opposed to a cash basis, net revenue declined 4.5 percent through June 30. The Revenue Estimating Conference estimated a net revenue decline of 8.7 percent for the entire fiscal year, so through June 30 net revenue is about 4.2 percentage points better than the projection for the entire fiscal year. Going forward, accrual adjustments made over the next few months will raise or lower this negative 4.5%. Although revenue well in excess of projections is something to celebrate, we must not lose track of the fact that the drop of negative 4.5% for fiscal year 2010 will follow on the heels of a negative 4.7% drop in fiscal year 2009 and net revenue over the most recent 12 months of $5.5 billion is not only lower than 2009, but also lower than what was collected over the same months in fiscal year 2008 and 2007. The combination of net personal income tax and net sales and use tax provides 80 to 85 percent of the net revenue collected for the general fund in a year. This chart shows how personal income tax net of refunds has performed since 1994 a 10% reduction in tax rates and the impact of the two significant recessions has kept revenue well below its trend in the mid-1990s. The most recent peak in this source was November 2008 and the most recent 12 months total is 9.4% below that peak. A revenue chart for net sales and use tax shows a similar story with the most recent peak also in November 2008 and the current reading 6.2% below the peak. In summary, the month of June 2010 was a positive month, but it was influenced by deposit delays that pulled revenue out of May and into June. 
the year-to-date net growth rate of negative 4.1% on a cash basis or negative 4.5% on a fiscal year basis through June are both much better than the REC estimate of negative 8.7%, and it seems likely the year will end quite a bit above projections. Although June 30 marks the end of the fiscal year, significant accounting tra transactions need to be completed before a final result for fiscal year 2010 can be provided. I appreciate your interest in Iowa General Fund revenue. Goodbye, and I hope you check us out in early August for the July report.